S'more is a fantastic online tool for creating great looking newsletters. You can also use it as a basic web page, create an event page for a concert that you're having. Um, it's really fantastic, super easy to use, basically makes your communication look very professional. And once you get logged in, you're going to be looking at your dashboard like mine is here. And once you scroll down, you can get a good overview of what's here. If you're just getting started with S'more, I highly recommend taking a look at these three sections here. Um, basically take you on a short design tour, how to share your newsletter or send it to an email list, and then also seeing your, uh, your analytics, like how many people have viewed your newsletter, things like that, that can be super helpful. Um, and as you scroll down to the bottom, there's a few more features. You can also see your most recent um, creation as well. So let's go back up to the top and something that can be easily overlooked because it's small is um, this your newsletter section. So once you create a newsletter, they'll all be stored here in the dashboard. You can even organize them into folders here once you get quite a few. And then as you scroll down, right now it's being sorted by date. So this is my most recent newsletter. And then we scroll on down, we can find others. Now, what I really like about S'more is that not only do they look great, but S'more makes it easy to create new newsletters because as music teachers, uh, we're often having you know the same concerts every year, um, those types of things, probably similar newsletters. And they make it so easy that you can easily just duplicate one of your past newsletters and and you can go in and adjust the information, change the dates. You can even change the look at it if you want. But it's a huge time saver because it basically keeps the same content. So I don't have to go back and recreate an entire brand new newsletter for each event. So I do really like that. To get started here, um, obviously, we're going to click on this big orange button here, start a newsletter. And remember I said this is a, it's super easy to get started here and here's why. Um, they give you some pre-made templates. However, I find it easiest just to go to other and go to scratch here. Okay, and we're gonna create a title and really you're just clicking on it and, and editing here, okay. Okay, now S'more auto saves, so you don't ever have to hit save. The only thing you do have to be concerned with is when you want to publish and it to go live. And we'll get to that in a minute, okay? So we have another section down here. Um, if you want to include some pictures in your text, just look for these arrow buttons here and you simply swipe it or click on it. It swipes to the, to the left and you have an image that can be placed on the right. Click it one more time and you can have an image placed on the left of your text, okay? If you don't like this one, no problem, just close out of it here and hit remove. Now, at the bottom of all your newsletters, you have these options here. If you wanna add a video, okay? You're gonna copy and paste a URL from YouTube or Vimeo or the other service called Vidler. If you want to add photos, uh, gallery for multiple photos, picture for individual, you can create a special um, event category here. You can simply name your event. You can add location, date, times, plus the details. Um, with a pro subscription, you can even do um, an RSVP collection. Okay, so you can really see how easy it is. Adding links, adding buttons, adding a Google form, this is all possible with S'more. Now let's get into the, uh, the basics of making a background here, as well as text themes, colors, etc. Okay, so you have three options here. You can create and choose from, from many backgrounds. Now, with a free subscription, you do get quite a few backgrounds to choose from with a pro subscription, which I believe is $79 for a year, you get a lot more. And in these education uh, templates here, you get even some music um, backgrounds as well. 
So that's really nice. And with a pro subscription, you can also create some custom ones. So like my jazz band performed at a minor league hockey team called Chicago uh, Wolves. And I was able to go to their website and download a high quality background. And we use that for the newsletter as well. So really some neat things when you upgrade to a pro, but it's really not needed for a couple of years. I had a free subscription and uh, it was just fine. Okay, once you select a background, um, there's a huge amount of colors in the templates here. Okay, uh, again, here are your basics up here, and then for the pro, you get even more. And then with your fonts, you do have some choices for that as well. Um, you only get like three more with the pro one. But what I will also add is that when you have a pro subscription, um, you do get some theme fonts that only come out at certain times of year, like Halloween. Um, around the holidays, Christmas time, New Year's, um, and then St. Patrick's Day, Easter, things like that. Okay, but again, that's really not needed. It's just some nice features that, that come about with having a pro subscription. So um, once you get all of your components added here, and for this assignment, you wanna add three, make sure that you go back up to the top here and hit done editing. Because even though it auto saves, you really need to hit done so that your uh, newsletter can go live, okay? And this is all online, so when you would email this out to somebody, you simply just need to go to the link down here and select it all and copy it and share that. If you want to go ahead and send this to multiple emails like we're gonna do for this class, uh, you just go up here to share with email, okay? And, um, Enter recipients, so we would copy them from our class and then simply paste here, double check everything is there and you go on to step two and ask you to double check your email, name, etc. then before sending to everybody. Okay, it does save your email list. So this is great when you have uh, multiple classes and different emails of, of parents of your students. Uh, it's great just to select that one class and be able to share it out um, with them. Or you can also send to all of your mailing list as well. So have fun with S'more. It's a fantastic communication tool and really makes um, you look like a communication and marketing genius. They're that good.